Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Lynn. I'm an iOS developer and designer. Um, I'm currently doing 100 days of icons. Um, today is day 13, so I'm going to recreate this shortcuts icon. So let's get started. First, I'm going to start with the background. It is a... There's a gradient there, so... Start with that. It's blue, grab that blue. Let's move this point down to the bottom. Okay, I'm gonna make this a little bit more gray. Okay, that looks good. Now I'm gonna do the shadow. Um, so I've been doing this for 13 days now, like I said, so I more or less memorized the shadows. So I'm just gonna use the same points that I've been doing and it seems to work. Okay, so that's that. Now I'm gonna try to make this pentagon shape. There is a pentagon shape tool that I can use. So there's that shape. I'm gonna give it four sides and then I'm gonna give it a value. Um, okay, and then I'm gonna do the radius. These two are the same. Could be about 64. Okay. That seems about right. Now I'm gonna get rid of the border and give it its color. Um, so it's gonna be at a diagonal. It's gonna have pink to orange. So let's choose a nice pink. It's a good pink. And an orange. It's like a reddish orange. Okay. Now I have that. I'm gonna create another shape. And I'm gonna... So this is something that I learned. Uh, I'm gonna turn that shape into... Oh, can I not do that? Let's see. Get rid of the color, perhaps. Hmm. I want to use this as a mask. And then perhaps... Okay, and then change it to a mass alpha. Oops, what did I do? Um, oh, that's because I got rid of this. Okay, and then the mass alpha is gonna go from this point to this point. And it's gonna be black for both with but with different transparency. I believe that's how it works. There you go. So let's do 30 for this one. And a little bit transparent for this one. I can do maybe 780. So this is a really cool thing that I didn't know existed. That I just learned about. So yeah. Um, I think my orange needs to be a bit more red. Okay, let's see if I can change the opacity here a bit more. Maybe my angle is incorrect. Ok, 
Okay, that looks good. Uh, let's group these two so that they are one unit. Okay, and then I need the, the shape underneath it. this one put it here can I do this and then and then cut okay that way I just have that bottom is as if it has a thickness and then from there, I can change the color like I initially had. So there's that, and then I can do... I wonder if I can copy... Nope, I cannot copy. Um, so this is a mask of just this. its color this goes this way I'm gonna grab this pink same but it's okay um, okay so then I just need to copy these two duplicate and then I'm gonna have my this one's on top Okay, so then this is gonna be like a greenish blue. So let's select it blue. Transparency is off. Oops, wrong one. Okay. 
Transparency is probably off because this doesn't look right. Um, Maybe that amount. So, what was the value? 40 and 80. Okay, maybe this one is the same. And it's also not all the way over there. This one doesn't have a mask at all. Maybe it doesn't have a mask at all. Looks very dark. Let's not use it as a mask. Maybe let's get rid of those two as a mask completely. And then just have these two shapes. Okay, so then the, the color's a lot better. And then there's a mask. I'm gonna reuse it as a mask and then the mask goes the other way. I think the mask is over here. To this. Not exactly sure what I'm doing right now, so just testing things out. Thank you. 
I think I'm restart. Something's off. Also, this is not vibrant anymore. So it's probably my mask. It's not correct. From here to here. Maybe that is 100%. Maybe this is... About 30. Okay. And then... This is... Does the same... From there to there. This is about 30 and this one is 100%. Okay. Sure, that works. Okay, so now I need to duplicate these two because I want the bottom shape as well. Copy, paste. So these two and move it down. I want this on the bottom. I want these two on the bottom. Can't tell if this is the top or the bottom. Okay, I want those two on top. These two are gonna be the bottom ones. Okay, so now I'm gonna do my, just change my colors. See if I can do it. These two will be the same, and then this will be the same as this. Okay, that looks good. That does look good. And then I know this also has a shadow. But first, I think I need to still tweak the thing a bit more, though. Maybe 40 is a better number. Okay, I think I'm gonna do 40. Paste. And then I'm gonna change this one to be 40. Copy that style, paste it to the bottom piece. Okay. And then I think what I have left is a shadow here that is cast from this one. So let's see if I can make a shadow. Just group this and then give it a shadow. Okay. 
Yeah, I think... Okay, I think I'm done. And I think that's the best I can do. Let's change this a tad bit. Cool. Okay, so this one looks easy, but it was actually pretty hard. So thanks for watching. See you tomorrow.